Hey, what's up you guys? Never mind the way this looks here because you know how the internet goes. The trailer dropped for the Hunger Games prequel. What is it called? Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I feel like for long titles, I never remember them. I'm gonna record my reaction and then we're gonna talk a little bit about it. I have read the Hunger Games books and I have seen all those movies. I have not read this prequel book, but I'm still excited to see what they show us. I'm a little apprehensive because I feel like not every villain needs a villain origin story. But alas, here we are. But let's go, let's check out the trailer. We're live. Mr. Snow, after everything you've seen out there in the world, what are the Hunger Games for? Are you, are you Ooh, who's singing the song? Coming to the Hunger Games are to punish the districts. Those tributes don't have a choice. Your role is to turn these children into spectacles, not survivors. We're live. Smile. It's why we have teeth. Imagine it was your name that they bought. protect people and it's essential to accept what human beings are and what it takes to control them let's see you use that famous snow charm Ooh. <laughs> oh <laughs> you seem like a good man Coilina Snow I've seen what war does to people fueled with the terror of becoming prey See how quickly we become predator. I want my enemies to see a rainbow of destruction Ooh. engulfing the world. Good monsters, all of you! Good luck with that poor little songbird. Where is she? Oh. It's just snow. Let me ask you one final time. What are the Hunger Games for? Who is singing the song? Are they going to release it? It's the things we love the most that destroy us. Oh, man. Well, this is clearly gonna be a sad story what he's gonna mentor this girl fall in love with her and then watch her die how is he going to be able to withhold himself from let me pause this for a second this is a chaotic uh trailer reaction y'all is he going to kill her i haven't read the book and i don't think that i will because i don't want to have all the details in my head to the point where I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the movie. I just wanna enjoy the movie for what it is. When I watch this, will I read the book after? Who knows? I don't really read YA or post-apocalyptic things anymore. As I get older, um, I pretty much have stuck to the romance genre. Um, and it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of romance, but this is gonna be ultimately a tragic love story um ah, man i know before i said i wasn't intrigued to see his villain origin story but it could be interesting to see his journey and the moral dilemma that i think he will be in because he is this person who works for the capital and he has his duties so it's like what is the right thing to do so i wonder if we'll see him question his place in the world and also what the capital does to people. I mean, we eventually know, we probably know how that turns out for him, obviously, because we've seen him decades, decades later in the Hunger Games movies. 
so we know this is this is this is the issue with prequels i find you just you know how it's gonna go you know where, where the characters end up um but i guess you know they do the prequel so that we can see how it all began i am um, the actor looks compelling his name is tom blythe he seems compelling i i think i'm most intrigued obviously i'm most intrigued to see what he brings to the table because you know president snow is like a predominant character in the books so they had to pick a pretty compelling actor for that and he seems to be delivering so far it's only from the trailers but we'll see but then he has like heavy hitters around him like viola davis and peter dinklage who i am very excited to see i feel like viola davis just looks so goofy because these capital people just look so goofy with like the crazy hair and the freaking different color eyes but we'll see how menacing she is even through all of the smoke and mirrors that she has to wear as an actor. I am very intrigued to see what Peter Dinklage brings to the table because he is a fantastic actor as well. And I'm excited for those main three actors. Uh, like I said, I think this will be a, a tragic, tragic love story, which will be interesting. I am curious to see how this performs at the box office because there just hasn't been any more YA things released theatrically at the very least. I think since what, since the Divergent series that kind of bombed. Um, interested to see if people come out to the theater for this. I know that I will because I read the books, saw the movies, but I don't know, you know, how the larger population feels about this. So it'll be interesting to see how this performs. It'll be interesting to see how the story plays out. Even though, again, we know how it'll play out, but just to see like the the intricacies of the, the emotions and the moral dilemma so yeah that's it that is the trailer reaction forgive me for my ugliness but when trailers drop you have to drop everything if you want to record and do this um i have more content on this channel i will be doing it out of the theater reaction for the exorcist believer so be on the lookout for that that'll be coming up the screening is on the third and i'll be dropping the reaction for that on the fourth so if you want to catch that hit subscribe hit the like button um, and I'll catch you guys next time.